Police in St. Matthews pour out stacks of fake gift cards at the center of a scam estimated to be worth at least a million dollars. I would say a million dollars is very low estimate of what they've done. Chief Barry Wilkerson says a suspect was caught placing these fraudulent cards on the rack at the Kroger on North Hubbard's Lane. Surveillance video from October 19th shows a man spending a long amount of time in the gift card section. A store employee reported him to police who say he was working with three accomplices. All the ones we have caught so far uh, have been Chinese nationalists. Officers arrested four men accused of taking part in an organized crime scheme impacting people across the country. Two are facing 999 counts of criminal possession of a forged instrument. Police say the men would open gift cards at the store, obtain the serial number, and seal them back in the original packaging. Then they would steal the money loaded onto the cards, according to Chief Wilkerson. What are they using the money for? Is it tied to terrorism? I don't know. That's why we turn these cases over to the, um, the federal agencies. The suspects allegedly hit stores in New York, Pennsylvania, Ohio, and Kentucky. The Kentucky Retail Federation says over the past year, this has become a growing problem. Kentucky seems to be a center point just because we have three major interstates that crisscross the state. The Federation is pushing for stricter legislation to crack down on this crime at major retailers, which police say often comes with a short jail or prison sentence. See if the health has been altered. If officers hadn't seized these cards on Saturday, they could have cost people thousands of dollars. And this is just a fraction of the fake gift cards police found on those suspects. Chief Barry Wilkerson suspects there are thousands more, and that's why we as consumers have to be vigilant. Take the extra minute to stop and look and make sure that that card has not been altered. Madeline Carter, WLKY News.